Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Just Weevil and I'm not Scarander. <laughs> I'm not Scarander. I'm going to be commentating over his um, TB battle that he's having versus Rizwan over here. And uh, I don't know why. He didn't actually say why. I think he just can't do it. He's got like work or some crap like that. Who knows? It's Scarander. He could be punching a baby for all we know. So this is his semi-final, I guess, battle versus Rizwan. And it's 37 turns long. So I'm not looking forward to it. I haven't seen it yet. I just recorded it without looking at it because I want it to kind of like be a, a surprise. So this is more of a Wi-Fi battle reaction than a commentary. But who cares? So let's look at Old Sky's team. So he's bringing his Thunderous Fury and his Gardevoir, his Slowbro Volcanion, his Mega Sceptile and his Heracross. Kind of needs that Heracross. It's like the only thing on his team that handles their Snorlax to be honest. And then Rizwan's got a Jirachi, a Houndoom, Snorlax, Latios, Lucario, and the Fable. I don't even know what oh, Riz, what Mega have you got? Is it the Houndoom? Why am I asking? I should just press play on the thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, you've heard me ramble on a bit too much now. So without further ado, let's hop right into this battle. Alright, so let's see what Sky, or Riz, whichever one's faster, is going to lead off with. He leads us off with Gyfdar, the Thunderous Fury, nice. As uh, Riz is going to lead off with the Clefable, as uh, Riz is going to withdraw apparently and go into his Latios, which is obviously a really good switch into Thunderous over here. Unless he was that guy to carry knockoff, of course, but I don't think Sky will do that. So he goes for the Thunderbolt, and now he's going to switch out because he's not in a very good position. As Riz gets a free Draco pretty much um, outside of Alyssa over here, who can just come in, trace that Levitate, which doesn't mean anything, as he can Mega Wolf, so he's Mega Latios. Okay, he's Mega Latios, alright. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. Mega Latios, nice. I thought, why you got Houndoom then? I don't know. So he goes for the Thunder Wave actually. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> obviously predicting the Gardevoir to come in. As now he's going to withdraw, he's going to get out of there, and he's going to go into Skill, which is of course the Jirachi. And uh, Sky unfortunately gets fully paralyzed. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. So he's going to withdraw, he's going to go into Beltsabub. Beltsabub. The Volcanion. As he ends up setting up his Stealth Rocks, that's, that's cool. Uh, that's going to help him in the long run because he's got stuff like Thunderous and this guy who was hurt pretty badly by Stealth Rocks. So he's going to withdraw again, go into his Latios because I uh, can obviously eat it to any move from this guy. As he's going to go for Steam Eruption. And will he get the burn? Will he get the burn? He does get the burn. Okay, cool. Cool. That's good. That's good. Uh, at least he gets some hacks. <laughs> That's going to help whittle down the Latios to say the least. So he's going to withdraw his Volcano now. Don't want to get hit by that Draco Meteor. And he's going to go back into Alyssa. As uh, Riz is just going to go for, what's he going to go for? Probably just go, he might go for the Thunder Wave again. He goes for the Roost, oh of course, trying to get all that HP back. That's nice, that's nice. Um, as now basically, what can Riz even do? He's just going to have to withdraw any, yeah, he's going to withdraw his Latios and he's going to go straight into that skill again, the Jirachi. It's literally the one thing that hurts this guy. As <laughs> Sky gets fully paralyzed again. That's unfortunate, Sky, you know, you're getting pretty unlucky here. If you could hit it with that Shadow Ball, predicting it maybe, who knows, maybe you would have killed the Jirachi. As now he's going to go into his Snorlax, as you get fully paralyzed again. Oh my god, this is horrible to watch. As now Riz is going to trap you in as you try and switch out with that Pursuit. Oh dear, this Parahax is unreal as he goes into his Alpha Max. He does get a free switching because of the Pursuit at least, so he can get a free Poisoned Close Combat or whatever he wants off on this guy. He decides to go for the Fit of Facade. Obviously predicting him to switch out as Riz can go for the return, which is going to allow him to live at 1 HP after the Toxic. Wow. So he basically has to smash that close combat right now, or the facade, whichever one. He decides to go for the close combat on the Jirachi on the switch in, which isn't going to kill, unfortunately, for Sky. He's probably uh, Jolly, I'm going to guess. Nah, I don't want to kill anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So Jirachi's there as he... Um, Sky, never, <laughs> Sky gets a free switch on the Jirachi at least. That's, that's one thing. So he goes to Gyfdar, the Thunderous. I'd have just gone into the uh, Volcano, to be honest. Um, and like predict that, I don't know. So he's going to go into the Thunderous as he's going to withdraw, go into his Snorlax again, as he can just go for the Dark Pulse. He has the Dark Pulse for the uh, Jirachi. I don't really see the point in that, if it's for the Jirachi anyway, because pretty sure Thunderbolt would do near enough the same amount. So if you go for the Dark Pulse again, he's going <laughs> to get them flinches though. Good job, Sky. At least he's getting some redemption with the hacks. As he's going to go to Lucario now. Lucario can obviously eat a Dark Pulse easily and get that justified boost. So Sky has to switch out right now and go into Alyssa. That obviously tells me that uh, Sky is choiced. So he's going to go to Alyssa as like Death Fodder. Uh, Trace the Justified, which is nice. As uh, 
he can just go for the crunch and kill it. If I was Rizzy then, um, in, after the first Dark Pulse with Snorlax, I'd have just pivoted out, well not pivoted out, switched out into the uh, Lucario straight away, because you can eat up a Dark Pulse easily, get the Justified boost and then kill everything, so that's a thing. He goes to a Snorlax now though, after seeing the crunch, um, obviously crunch isn't going to do much because it's a slow bro. Did I say he goes into Snorlax? I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm all over the place right now, okay. <laughs> As now Sky can just set up his Calm Mines, uh, that's decent, that's decent, so... I'm guessing Sky is just going to take this opportunity to sell up all them car mines everywhere, which is nice. As he's going to sell up his own car mines, so basically they're just going to start being really calm, minding their own business and stuff. As he's just going to go straight for the side shock. Obviously, that's going to does nothing. Damn. I was expecting a little bit more damage to be honest with you. Slow bro, you let me down. It's just it's unfortunate. So he's going to withdraw now. He's going to go into Belzebub. The Volcanion, which is obviously one of the best things to take on Fable, apparently. Um, as he's just going to go straight for the Moonblast, this shouldn't do too much damage. It is resisted, but it takes him over the halfway point. Lowers his special attack as well, which is unfortunate, especially since he's got a Calm Mind up. Now, if this guy's physical right now, he might be able to do some damage to this thing, but I don't know. So, he's going to withdraw his Club Fable and go into Latias over here. As he goes for the Haze, obviously trying to get rid of the Calm Mind, which is fair enough. Um, to say the least. He also gets rid of his own special attack drop, which is also nice. So he's going to be in a good position right now. As he's going to withdraw now anyway, so it doesn't really matter about the haze. And he's going to go into the Goliath, the Slowbro once again. And Slowbro can just eat anything from this guy, really. Uh, unless he goes to the Dragon Pulse, which should do about half. Doesn't near half. Close, close to half. It's like 40%, 45%, alright? Close. Close to what I said, okay? So he's going to go for the Thunder Wave now because Slowbro can't get any slower apparently. Um, <laughs> as basically he can just go for the Slack Off now and just get that HP back. To be honest, I would have just switched out, but if he's going to go for the Thunder Wave anyway, he may as well just stay in. I don't know really now. I don't know what's going on through these guys' heads right now. I'm not in their minds. <laughs> he's going to switch out and go to Malik though, the Sceptile. That's, that's decent, nice. Um, as he's going to go for the Roost, that's fine. He can't Thunder Wave him because he has to Mega Evolve anyway, so that's that's going to be something decent to see. Hopefully he can get the special attack. You never know. You never know. Riz might be stupid and go for the Thunder Wave. You, you really never know with uh, Riz. He's kind of a pleb. As he's going to go for the Leaf Storm, obviously expecting Riz to switch, but unfortunately he doesn't, which means he can fire off a Dragon Pulse of this Mega Sceptile, and then just uh, take it out from there, which is unfortunate. Malik had to go down. If you manage to hit him with that, Dragon Pulse, he might have done a little bit more damage, maybe not killed, but either way, Mallet was going to die right there, so he's going to go into Gaifdar right now. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these right. He's going to go straight for the Thunderbolt, obviously expecting him to switch or something again, but Riz is just being adamant with this Latios. He's just keeping it in, letting it do its thing. I I'm going to bet that La uh, Riz was keeping this in to die or something. He's just following it off right now, but Sky didn't realize that, so he's predicting him to switch out and it's just not working in his favor also he's going to go into Lucario now and uh, go for that extreme speed which is obviously going to be able to take out his thunderous easy peasy lemon squeezy ah oh, lemons they've been all over my timeline recently for some reason so Goliath's going to come in he can obviously wall the crap out of this Lucario and uh, he's going to have to withdraw because he can't do crap to him can't do anything to him, he's going to go to skill the skill can take hit from this guy, he's going to set up Calm Mind on the switch in which is brilliant GG Sky, GG. And I'm, I'm, I'm really rooting for Sky right now, I'm rooting for Sky, I hope he wins. It's a long battle, but I hope he wins. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's, the Hax isn't in his favor right now, at all, but, you know, it's whatever. So Riz is going to go for the U-turn, get out of there. It's going to do a nice little chunk to Slowbro over here, not quite going to break its shoulder off its tail though, as he's going to go back into the Clefable to take any hit from this guy, as he gets fully paralyzed, so he can't set up that second car mine if he wanted to. Oh, Riz, you're getting all these power hacks, man. You got all these power hacks. Now, Clefable can just start setting up his own Calm Minds. And if he's an unaware Clefable as well, he's going to win this Calm Mind War. Easy peasy. So, he's going to start going for the Scold, which isn't going to do anything to this Clefable at all. As now he basically has to go for Side Shock. Side Shock's that you're at your only move ready here. It's kind, to be honest with you. So, he's going to get that Moonlight off, get all that wonderful HP back. As now he can go for the skull again. I'm guessing he knows he's unaware and he's trying to get that burn for the chip damage. But it's just not happening. All these power hacks and he can't get a single burn on his skull. That's just unfortunate, man. That's just unfortunate. So he's going to start setting up his car mines again. Riz. Riz. 
Riz, stop. Why haven't you got... <laughs> I was just waiting for Riz to use soft boiled, that'd be funny. It's an inside joke thing, but... Riz, please use soft boiled. <laughs> he goes for the Moonblast again, he's going to do over half to this Slowbro, which means Slowbro is going to do down the next turn, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate to say the least, so Slowbro is going to get some HP back from that thing. I think he can live another Moonblast now, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe. Maybe. As he's going to set up another Calm Mind. Oh, Riz, he's going in for the win. He's going in for the win. He's uh, meditating, med meditating a bit. <laughs> I can't speak. As um, he's just going to slack off and get all his HP back. So he can at least live another hit from this guy. As Do we see burn damage, actually? I didn't notice. Yeah, there's the burn damage. So he's definitely unaware. That's good. That's good. It stops him from setting up on him. So he's going to withdraw his Slowbro now. He's going to go into Belsy Bub. Belsy Bub is obviously a beast. <laughs> So, um, he's going to go for the Moonlight again. He obviously wants to get on that Haze, actually, now I think about it. He's going to get that Haze off, get rid of all them Calm Minds. You don't want Riz setting up on him. That's just going to be a shame if he does. Um, I don't want to see Riz sweep him. No way. I don't want to re see Riz do that. It's just wrong. As he's actually going to go for the Steam Eruption, maybe expecting to switch, expecting the Haze, which is fair enough. As now Riz gets a free Moonblast off, which is unfortunately going to take Volcanion out. And if he had got the haze off first then Riz wouldn't have been able to kill him with the Moonblast then and he would have been able to do a lot more damage with Steam Eruption. That's, that's unfortunate guy but I know that you don't really think about this sort of stuff when you're in the actual battle you always think about the best plays in hindsight it's just how it works isn't it it's unfortunate though so he's going to bring Slowbro in, it's going to nearly die and uh, that's, pff, wow Riz Riz is claiming another life in the TBU as Riz is going to finish up the game with a Moonblast. That's a, that, that's a, screw you Riz, I wanted Sky to win. <laughs> that's a shame. So yeah, GG Sky and Riz. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. I know I'm not quite as beautiful as Skyrender, but he can't do it. So I'm going to have to step in. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a like as it supports Sky greatly. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. I'm sure you're going to like his videos better than this one because it was me. And if you do like this video from me, then be sure to go check out my channel. I'm sure the link will be in the description below somewhere if you want to go find it. <sighs> so, I'd say I'd see you in the next video, but I probably won't, so... <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye.